Hi. I thought I would chat about forgiveness for a few minutes here because it is such a powerful tool. It's a universal healer. And even notice how you feel when you see the word forgiveness. Some of our minds will say, I forgave everything. Uh, sometimes there's other layers. And so forgiveness is a healing. It's a gift you give yourself. I've seen the power of forgiveness in my coaching work and in my prior life as a hospice nurse where patients that had excruciating pain that wasn't being helped by all the drugs and it was discovered that there was somebody from their past that they were still holding on to some old hurts or unfinished business so to speak and that person was brought in and they had the time to share and accept and forgive and that body pain diminished. There's a story I heard from a mentor one time, a man with a failed career. His marriage was not working. He was struggling with relationships. And he was asked, how did you get here to this place? And he said, my father was an alcoholic. And then there was another man with a very thriving marriage a successful career that he loved. He had a lot of joy in life. And he was asked, how did you get here? And he said, my father was an alcoholic. We always have choices. When we hang on to old hurts, regrets, resentments, blame, it uses up our life force energy. And as a medical intuitive, and I'm scanning a client's chakras, when I see congealed stuck energy, I'm often the right side is our past, especially with certain chakras, there's usually a wounding there, okay? And so when we can sit with an old hurt and reflect on it and start to call forward through this grit, we like to say that, you know, think of how the pearl is formed with the grit to become the pearl. You know, through this grit, what did I develop? What lessons and gifts am I taking forward? And am I using them in my life? Am I developing greater compassion, understanding, love, and maybe sometimes just more clarity not to do that again? Forgiveness is healing. It is not condoning that we allow somebody to continue to hurt us. We use our boundaries and we protect ourselves self-love and there are times though it's wise to try to look at the situation from that other person's perspective because the truth is often hurting people hurt people right that some of the situations we've been in on the receiving end it was somebody projecting their own old unfinished business at us okay so how do we forgive Claim those positive qualities. Am I using this quality of compassion to create a more fulfilling life and in my service of love, okay? Then I unconditionally forgive and release myself for carrying this pain as long as I have. I know I did the best I knew how with my consciousness at that time. Now, the more you identify what that pain was, that's very helpful. And you can write this out. But there's also a power in saying it for all parts of us to hear that. I unconditionally forgive and release myself for my part in this painful situation. I know I did the best I knew how with my consciousness at the time. I unconditionally forgive blank for the hurt they inflicted on me. I unconditionally forgive blank for feeling whatever, okay, for their part. I know they did the best they knew how with their consciousness at the time. I unconditionally forgive my body for carrying this pain all this time. I know my body's doing the best it knows how with my state of consciousness at the time. And another piece that's very important, 
I unconditionally forgive and release God and the universe for creating a world where one could suffer in the way I believed I was suffering. That's a powerful piece. I've seen that really purge some people. Feel the power of that if you say that aloud. I unconditionally forgive myself. I know I did the best I knew how, given my state of consciousness prior. Really own that. There's a practice gifted to me uh, years ago by a teacher, and I use it with a lot of clients. I've done it many times myself, and it's based on the biblical scripture when the disciples asked Jesus, how many times do we forgive? Seven? And how did he answer? Seventy times seven. And so what we do is we take the seven days, and 70 times each day we write. We take 35 in the morning and 35 before bed. And in the morning we put right, I, Patty, unconditionally forgive and release. And whoever's name comes up. It could be 35 different people. It could be the same person 35 times. It doesn't matter. Trust your soul. Trust your inner guidance. I had situations from elementary school come up that were very illuminating. I thought, wow, I didn't know I was carrying a hurt from that situation. It was purifying. Very, very healthy. And it helps us move into a higher state of consciousness to co-create a more fulfilling life. And then before bed, we're doing it toward herself. I, Patty, unconditionally forgive and release Patty. And now if I went by different names at different points in my life, I would write that. I, Patty, unconditionally forgive and release Trish, Patricia, Pat. You know, you've got nicknames. Put those in there. Those may trigger some other memories coming up. And if you're doing, you know, every day for seven days, and if you're in the middle of that and you quit, we had to go back to the beginning and start over. So it was a very disciplined practice to purify me, ourselves of these old energy congestions, these old weights that are holding us back, that can seriously keep us tied into victim consciousness, that blame. Oh, it's all about everybody else's fault. Okay, no, we're purifying. Forgive them, they know not what they do. So I hope that gave you some insights, a practice that perhaps you'll give it a shot in whatever way you can. And I wish you well, great health, Namaste.